I'm Sophie, helping you be a brave, smart, curious, funny scientist every day. Today, we're going to break down some simple machines. Did you see the Simple Machines episode? If not, click the card to check it out. Some of you have been asking me to dig deeper into the physics of these marvelous machines, so I'm gonna do just that. First up, inclined plane. An inclined plane is a plane, a flat surface, on an incline, an upward angle. I'm inclined to remind you of the equation from the episode. Work equals force times distance. Simple machines increase the distance we use to decrease the force needed to do that work. An inclined plane makes it easier to lift something up an incline. It's time to play one of my favorite games, <laughs> Would You Rather? <laughs> Imagine a hill. At the top of this hill is a party with the coolest scientists around. Oh, hi. You've got to walk up the hill to get to the party, and you don't want to be sweaty when you get there. So would you rather walk up a steep straight path or a longer zigzag path? Which will make you the least sweaty? What do you think, scientist? Comment below. Yes! The longer zigzag path. It will take you longer to get there, but you will not be as sweaty because you won't have to use as much force. That's the trade-off with simple machines. More distance means less force. Next up, a screw. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a pole. Work means moving something over a distance. Remember when Screw and Wedge were arguing in the episode? You're only a simple machine when you're moving something, Screw. Look who's talking, Wedge. This is something scientists argue about too. While Screw and Wedge shapes can be used to hold things together, like a doorstop or screws on a table, when are those shapes moving something? Comment below. You might use a screw to move your chapstick. The work is lifting the chapstick out of the tube, the force is twisting the screw. Where's the distance? Check this out. I have some rope that I could hold at an incline, or I could wrap around this pole. Behold, my muse, my inspiration, my model of a screw. The wrapped incline plane makes lines we see called threads. Fewer threads mean less distance, and more threads mean more distance. In this example, more rope. Would you rather part two? We gotta get to that hill party, scientists. Would you rather go up a zigzag path to the party or a path that winds all the way around the hill? Hmm. Which will take you longer and which will make you less sweaty? What do you think, scientist? Comment below. Either way, I've got a party to catch. Which simple machine do you want to break down next? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on, and I will catch you next time, scientists.